Okay, today I want to uh, show you a new distro of Linux that I'm running right now. Uh, I've been running the previous uh, predecessor version, but now I'm up to the latest version of this. It's OpenSUSE Linux Leap 42.2, a great distribution of Linux, by the way. It's long-term support. Uh, OpenSUSE is a fork of uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise, which is uh, a paid version of Linux. Uh, just like Red Hat is for um, uh, where CentOS is a fork of Red Hat. Um, SUSE Linux Enterprise is an enterprise uh, grade uh, operating system and OpenSUSE Linux takes advantage of all of that uh, with the exception you don't get support, uh, paid support. Uh, you can only get support from the forums in the community which is really great too as well. Uh, you're looking at the desktop now. I've got a widget out here on the desktop, which is my clock, and uh, it's an analog clock. Uh, I've got four workstations, or uh, yeah, workstations set up here. This is KDE Plasma 5. If I click on that, I've got it set up right now so that it goes out to a menu, and uh, let me click on the terminal. It goes out to the terminal here. Let me type in my password. And I can issue a uname, a switch, and I'll see that my latest Linux uh, kernel version is 4.4.36-8 default, which is the latest version. So I've got all the latest patches and upgrades uh, to those, uh, to that kernel rather, and to the software. Let me exit that. Let me take you out to uh, Yast, which is the um, software manager for. OpenSUSE. Put in my password. And that takes me out to the YAST control center here. Um, if I want to do online updates, I can do those there. If I want to do software repositories, look at those or software management. I can do that as well. And then there's a whole host of things for system and network services and security. So this is a great little tool. Um, OpenSUSE Leap 42.2, by the way, does automatically update your software packages uh, from the repositories and will alert you in the notification area down here just like Windows does when there are updates and you can click on that and update. If you fail to do that it will automatically update for you if you selected that option so it's a great uh, distribution. Let me close the YAST. Now let me go back out to um, KDE Start Menu. Um, there is uh, a couple of things I want to show you here. Uh, one is I have uh, something called Kate. Kate is a um, text editor for uh, programming and I've got it set up for Python right now and PHP and so if I open a file for instance let me go out to a file that I have and I'll show you um, and let me go to downloads and let's get into one of my Python files which is a chat client.py you can see this this is a fully functional text editor for programming uh, for Python files which is really really nice. Let me go ahead and close that. Um, let me go back out here again and uh, click on this and you'll notice that I've got the Vivaldi web browser set up. So let me click on Vivaldi. Takes me out to that browser, which by the way is a wonderful. Let me uncheck here. I don't want to have it check again. Set as default. And uh, this is a wonderful browser. Um, you can do various things with it. It's very configurable, uh, unlike some of the other browsers that you might deal with. Um, I've got msn.com as my default here. So let me go out to uh, let's go out to the news. New York Times and um, you've got a speed dial there in Vivaldi which is really nice and so you can click on just click 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 and there you are I'm looking at my New York Times newspaper subscription here that I have um, let me go ahead and close this and let's see um, wanted to show you that you can go out to um, Firefox or Dolphin is the file manager for Leap, and uh, here's Dolphin. There's a another file manager as well, um, but if you go at, let's say, Pictures here, that's public. Click on Pictures, 
and there's you know some pictures I have um, that I've created. Um, but if you go out to KDE again and go up to Conqueror, uh, the Conqueror web browser is a web browser and a file manager built in to one. Uh, you've got network folders, home folder, trash, and bookmarks. If I go to home folder, you can see that it looks similar to Dolphin, um, but it's a little better, I think. Uh, it is more uh, manageable and uh, it integrates with the web browser as well but it is a web browser so if I wanted to use it as a web browser I could type in a web address here instead of a file location and so if I go to www.cnn.com um, it will pull up uh, a web page for cnn.com and let's see it's pulling up now A little bit slower than, uh, say, Vivaldi or some of the others, um, but it gets there. All right, so this has been um, SUSE Linux uh, KDE Leap 42.2. Uh, just a couple of the applications that you can run in there. Um, when you get ready to shut it down, you can shut it down just by uh, right-clicking, going to Run Command, and just typing in Hibernate, Suspend or reboot if you want to reboot the system or shut down if you want to shut it down. So have a nice day.